Hi, I'm Sam O'Brien. I'm a shielded rider down in West Sussex, dealing and training horses. So we'll talk a little bit now about uh, what we're looking for when we're buying our uh, horses to import over to the UK. So we'll take a look at this horse, which is a four-year-old by Sunrema, which is uh, Sandra Hitt and then Donahall. Okay, so first we look at him from the side, and I think you'd agree he's a, he's a pretty handsome horse. So first thing we really like is that they're in, they're in good proportion. Not, there's a big fashion now, I think, for buying horses that are very, very short in the back. But we'd rather have something with a little bit of length behind the saddle. I think he's got you know, good confirmation, nice straight limbs. He's got a really good shoulder, I think, this horse. And the neck is, the neck is set on pretty well. And I'm happy with his size. Not too small, but he's definitely not, not too big. He's a, good, he's a good hide. And then we look down to the feet. Now, I say a lot of the, hear a lot of complaints from blacksmiths in the UK about continental shoeing. You know, sometimes they can come across looking a bit funny in front. And, and in the back with the shoe, but we're not too worried about it. As long as the feet are in, the feet are in pairs, we always have them x-rayed before they're purchased, so we can see there's nothing too, uh, too dodgy in size. As long as they're in pairs in front and the backs are a pair, we're not too worried. Yeah. So we now check the horse's front legs. So the main thing we're looking for really is that the limb is nice and straight down the middle. And when we look from the side, that he's not too over the knee. Also, we want to see that the hoof falls at a good angle. And that the feet are set on straight, that he's not, too, uh, he's not too turned in or too turned down. And this is really important, I think, for us. And we don't want to, uh, to overload the, the tendons in one particular place on the horse's legs. So we'll look now to the horse's confirmation. And I really like him. He has a well, well set on neck. It could be a little bit higher, but for me it's really important that the necks are not, not set too low down into the chest. He's got a really nice sloping shoulder. I think he has really good shoulders, actually, this horse. which should help him a lot with his, uh, with his action in front. The back's a nice shape, there's no, no roaches or anything in here, and he's nice. And he's also got really good, really good, nice, powerful quarters. And I'm happy to see him in this condition when he's had very, uh, very little work under the saddle. And then as we move up to his head, it's also worth taking into consideration probably the biggest part and biggest factor when you're buying a young horse is that he has a good temperament and kind disposition. And this is a really, is a really friendly horse. He's not too sharp in his temperament, but he's nice and, nice and alert, but not being too... Uh, not being too wild, and this is really, really important when we want to buy the horse and bring him back to England and train him and then sell him to somebody. Hi, I'm Sam O'Brien, Shieldrick Rider, and these are some of my uh, top things to look for when buying a young horse. And remember, the main thing with the youngsters is it's not always going to be perfect. The temperament, the movement, the confirmation, there'll always be a sacrifice somewhere, but you must just make sure it's a horse that you're able to, uh, able to get on, ride and train every day.